Hey, it's Kimmy, the Gadget Goddess. And today, I have an unboxing that people told me I was gonna do, but I said I probably wouldn't. But then I had a change of heart. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna do an unboxing and a screen protector installation. Hopefully, my OEM case will be here soon and I can unbox that for y'all too. But right now, let's get into this box. Let me slow things down. Give this phone the respect it deserves. I pre-ordered this phone. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I will put prices on the screen for you here because I don't want to lie to you. It's the Vivo X Fold. Cue the angels. Alcantara box. Couldn't do better. This is an unboxing experience. Samsung, Apple, this is unboxing. I opted for blue. There was a theme here, if you didn't notice. Blue backdrop for you, oh, that just booted up by itself. Hello. So this phone is ready to run. <laughs> so let's get the the phone out of the way. So I got the Vivo, I'm sorry, the iQ 9 Pro. I have the Huawei Mate X2 and the Oppo Find N is here. So if you want to see any coverage on any of these except for the iQ, which I only did a screen protector installation for, please check the channel out. Let me move this back for y'all a little bit so you can see that this box has a drawer. Slide it on out. And first we have a box box has a card. I got a card with my Xiaomi uh, phone. There's a box here with a QR code. This SIM ejection tool and documents and paperwork. This phone is just rebooting itself. Or maybe because I put it back in the box and the box is making it cut itself on. I'm sorry. Charging cord. Pull the drawer out some more. Earbuds and our charging brick with the flash charge. This is an 80 watt. Which, yeah, we can't leave that in there. I am curious to see what my 120 watt charger does with this thing. Man, it's beastly when it comes to like my iQ 9 Pro, which I'm gonna run these two in tandem. I'm not gonna even set this bad boy up before I put this uh, screen protector on. I am gonna wipe it down because I did have to put in my password and Wi-Fi. I got this on Giztop. And if they don't have Google Play on it, I'll put it on there. It's not that big a deal. That is like a common question I get. How hard is it to side load? It's not hard and it's not really side loading. It's a matter of downloading an app. We've all downloaded apps before, haven't we? That is a good unboxing experience. The only thing I'm missing that I usually get with an import is a case. And like I said, I ordered the OEM case for this phone, which won't show off the true beauty, but I also ordered a clear case. So let's get to the installation of the screen protector and talk about this phone. Ordered mat. Mad is where it's at. Front, inside, squeegee, wet, dry, and dust removed. Everything you need for a screen protector. You see me? This is the reason why I want to install Matt. There is a screen protector on here. Initially, I always like to go with just sticking it on top. If I don't like that, I'll pull it off and install on the naked screen. First up, we have the front, which is usually the easiest. Y'all recognize these? I use them on all my foldables. Good stuff. Let's see if it actually works because I got the screen protectors before I got the phone. So whoever manufactured these, I uh, hope they had a good dummy. Good dummy units make for good screen protectors and good cases. Give it a nice wipe down first. I am charging it. You see it's plugged into the charger. Dry everything off. I would go with dust remover, but I'm not going to this time because these nifty screen protectors, they have a built-in, right? So it's one, two, three. If you've been to this channel and seen me install screen protectors, y'all know I'm pretty good with these. I'll boot it on just so I can see what I'm doing. I will say the hinge itself is giving me Mate X2 vibes. Those hinges are eerily similar. Only at 43%. Ooh, we gonna be caseless, y'all. You know how it is to carry a naked phone? 
scary, especially when they're expensive foldables, right? I think I did that pretty swell from behind the camera. Okay, I can already see that there's no drop off on the other side. So the screen is gonna be case friendly, I think. Take my squeegee, get these bubbles out. We're taking off number two, pushing, pushing, pushing. Got a couple bubbles in there. I think they'll be fine. That's typical. And you will see that with the IQ, I had tons up top. Pull the bottom, push out three. Come on, three. Get out of there. Look at that big old bubble trying to sneak in there. No, sir. Get out of there. So, front piece is installed. Everything's down. So, you'll see there's one more piece of glossy here. You look for an edge. And you pull it off so i have a slight halo over here that makes me think i went too far left we'll see but yeah it's a halo on the left hand side but pretty good installation yeah i went too far left because i can see the camera is a little off center but not bad from behind the camera and not bad for like bubbleless right we'll do better on the inside i promise and we have this moment this is my first time opening this ah. <laughs> <sighs> we'll have to change that time. We don't do 24 hours here. Uh, we do AM and PM around these parts. I noticed this on the Oppo Find N. You really have to pay attention to how it lays because it looks like you would install it that way. But I see the hole for the camera protector up here. So it's going to install just like that. I have touched the inner screen. So let me uh, give that a nice little wipe down. Now, some things you might not know about this phone. It registers fingerprints on the inside and outside screen for unlocking. You only have to register your fingerprints once and they work on both. Yay, yay, yay. Yes, I, I do homework on phones before I get them. Some people do, some people don't. Like I said, this is not a global variant, so Google Play might be installed or it might not. If it's not, then I will show you how to get that. All right, I think we ought to be good now because I only had a couple of fingerprints on the side. What do we say? Matte is where it's at. Let me look and see if there's anything installed on the inside to begin with. I know there's one on the front. Okay, there is one. It looks very flush to the screen. You can barely tell it's there. Good job, Evo. Remember I said camera up. Same way the Oppo went. One, two, three, just like the front screen. Start out with number one. See if we can light this one up like we did the other. Now the Oppo was perfect. So you had to lay it perfect, which I think when I installed the first one, I did not. By gauge of my camera hole, I think I've lined it up pretty good. I'm gonna take the squeegee and push me against the bubbles, people. Who's gonna win? All I do is win. <laughs> I will show you what it looks like. 24, 48 hours later, I need a faster charger. I'm gonna take this up to the factory joint because this slow charging is for the birds. Two is on the move. This could be a little harder. I like, you know, credit card types. You know, like maybe I should use the other hand. People are so leery about these screens and I never had problems out of any of my foldable screens. Oh, got a bubble. So we're squeezing it to the other side and get that bubble out. And now I'm gonna turn it around to make it easier on myself to do three with the slowest charging ever. Push, push, push. Man, can you believe I'm about to put my Mate X2 down for a bit? I can't. I kept coming back to this phone. I am not selling my Mate X2. Promise you that. That's like a keeper. Most expensive phone I ever paid for. Then sold and bought again much cheaper. <laughs> but installing Google Play on that bad boy was a monster. All right, got a few bubbles here. Which edge am I going for? Ah, look at there. Pretty good install. Matt is installed. Ah, so let's play the setup game, people. First thing I did was log into my Vivo account. You didn't need to see me do that. I have a Vivo account due to a previous Vivo I own and due to the iQ9 Pro. You don't have one, you can set one up relatively easy. I don't use my phone number, I use an email address. So that's done. The next thing I absolutely always do is turn the phone into dark mode, always relief to the eyes all right so the next thing we're gonna do is check and see if we have Google yes we do Play Store is here if you did not have the Play Store what you would need to do you want to go into the V App Store 
So with the V App Store, you want to search for any of your Google Play services apps. Let's say you want to go Gmail first. So when you see Gmail pop up there, it's already installed here. You would want to install it. That's going to prompt this bad boy to pop up. So that's probably what they did before they sent me the phone. They installed Gmail and it prompted for Google Play. And that's when you sign in with your credentials, which I'm going to do now. Four accounts later, we're all set up. Listen, there are certain things that just seamlessly work. On Vivo, my messages does work. I use the beta. I don't know if the beta is going to work on this one. But I could probably do a transfer from the iQ9 Pro. See, because it verified my account over here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I feel like my phones are mating now. Transfer that data. It says it's 59 gigs. Let's start exporting. Let's see what the time they're going to give us on that. So it's going to take 20. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. 19, 17. Wow, that's really fast. So about 15 minutes. This is running Origin OS Ocean. Go over here and see if we got any updates. Where's my software? Okay, system update. Same here. Origin o OS Ocean. It's on the latest software. So no update needed. Everything is super customizable on this phone. Animation styles. So yes, there's multiple we can choose from. It's telling me to download. If I want certain animation styles, I'll download that one. It's pretty and colorful, right? Apply. And the icon for the lock screen, you can change those up. I like a little color to my life, but let's see what these look like. Meh. Let's do the color one. Apply that one. Fingerprint for unlock. I need to put in a password. All right, let's start with this fingerprint. It tells us not to put another screen protector on. We've already done that. Okay, we got one finger in. Let's add another. My two thumbs are entered, so that should be fine. So all those are done and we're good to go. Oh, I need to do face unlock. But this is a 12 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of storage with <laughs> four gigs of virtual RAM. You can get 16 gigs of RAM. You know, I played around with that on uh, my Oppo. Oh, I guess it just defaults to extended RAM. So, I mean, it's already plugged, plugged and ready to play. Five by nine, we can have more apps. Look how tiny those got. I use a lot of these same widgets here. And yes, I put all the apps to the back because I don't want to have to look at them. This is usually the screen I'm on. If I want something, I do a search here. There's something that's going to be interesting to play with. Okay, album highlights. I've taken no pictures, but look, you have a lens kit. So on the lens kit, we've got ultra wide, telephoto, portrait video, night, super macro. Wow. You have a lens kit that you can pull up and use at your leisure. My people like the Bionic Scoop and Grant loves tech like things like that. Here's a business center with your calendar, etc. And uh, yeah, you can change your icon sizes and everything under the sun. Oh, that's so pretty. I think that's the one we saw on everything. Like when they dropped the phone, they put this wallpaper on everything. I'll tweak the settings and what I want where and how I want my phone to work for me. But as for now, I heard some people complain about this phone, but it's lighter than my Huawei Mate X2. The hinges are identical though. Look at that. Identical hinges. Front, front appear the same. Insides appear the same. Very similar. Even down to like how the phone is outlined here. So other than this one being lighter. And this one having a leather type finish on the back. I do like this camera setup, but I can't wait to get this thing in a case. And again, this isn't a review. This is just first impressions. Speaker mic. Slider. That's gonna work great for me at work. So yeah, there's my fingerprint sensor there. I come here, my fingerprint sensor is here and it unlocks. I never set it up from out here, remember? I think I'm gonna be happy with this, y'all. Nice and detailed with the sequence. We'll get into that later. I'd like to thank you for stopping by the channel, checking out my unboxing, first impressions, screen installation for the Vivo X5.
fold. If you aren't subscribed to the channel and enjoy these type videos, feel free to subscribe. Subscriptions are free. I have memberships and memberships cost and memberships have privileges. Make sure you click on that link down below and see what those perks are. I'd like to thank you for your time because time is money. I hope to see you around these parts again. Until next time, holla!